All right. 今天我们说 Chinese radicals. 中文不少 Since the purpose of our Chinese radicals learning is to write the Chinese characters, therefore, let's talk about the Chinese basic strokes first. There are eleven basic strokes in our textbook. These are the Chinese names. These are the names in Pinyin, and this is the English meaning. And those are the examples. So first, please read with me of the names of the basic strokes. 点横竖撇捺提横勾竖勾斜勾横折竖折 There are six rules to write the Chinese characters. You have to be familiar with that. So number one is from left to right. For example, when you write this character, you need to write from this direction. Okay. So this 撇 will be the first stroke, and the 竖 the second stroke, and the longer 竖 will be the third stroke. So 撇竖竖 Those are called the stroke order, and this character is called the 人 means person. It also have to write from left to right, so you have to write 撇 and 捺撇 first and 捺 second. 好 the second rule is from top to bottom. For example, this is character 三 means three, three lines, right? Very easy to remember. When you write the characters, you have to write from top, the middle longer 横 and the the shortest 横 and the longest 横横横横 Number three is horizontal before vertical, so 横 before 竖 so you have to write 横 first and then 竖 seconds, not 竖 first then 横 second. All right. So number four from outside to inside. This character is called moon. Means, ah,、uh, this character means moon. Called 月撇横折钩横横 You see, I write the outside stroke strokes first and the inside strokes second. Number five, middle before two sides. This character pronounced as 小 means little 小 So we have write middle first, 竖勾点点 Okay, number six inside before closing. So inside before closing. So number one we write the outside strokes, 竖横折横横竖横折，竖横折，横 ，and then closing， 横 ，OK。Radicals. So that number one is the numbers. 一、二、三、四、五、六、七、八。九十 Let's look at the characters. Try not look at the p. 一、二、三、四、五、六、七、八、九、十 Let's write those characters. 一 Long horizontal line. 二横横三横横横四竖横折撇竖折横 So we write the outside strokes first, then inside the strokes, then closing. 五横竖横折横六点横撇捺七横竖折八撇那
Please pay attention to these characters. The Pie and the Na does not touch each other. There is space in between. And the Pie is shorter and Na is longer. It's different from the characters Ren. Ren is also read like Pie, Na. But the Pie is longer and Na is shorter and they also touch each other. There is also a character called Ru, means enter, which Pie is shorter and Na is longer, and they also touch each other. But Ba for Ba, they do not touch each other. Jiu, Heng, Zhe, Wan, Go, Pie, Shi, Heng, Shu. The first group. Group one. Now we are entering the Chinese radicals learning. Let's learn it group by group. Group one. 人, 刀, 利, 右, 口. The radicals inside of the brackets is also pronounced as 人 or 人字旁. It is the it, it has the same meaning as Ren, which is also a variation of Ren when it is used in the Chinese radicals. For example, uh, do you know, do you still remember how to write Ren? Pie, Na, Dao, Heng, Zhe, Go, Pie, Li, Heng, Zhe, Go, Pie. The difference between Dao and Go, uh, uh, Dao and Li is Li, the Pie goes stretch out, go out of the Heng. Yo, right hand again, uh, Heng, Pie, Na, Kou, Shu, Heng, Zhe, Heng. Ha. To help you to memorize these characters, I'm going to tell you the stories uh, behind the characters. In the all uh, bon, oracle, in the born oracle script, in long time ago, Ren is written like this way. So this is hand, and this is the legs, and this is has. The Ren, the meaning of Ren is to bow to somebody. So to be polite is a person. The this is a. Uh, uh, original meaning of the Ren, the character. But now, the, in the official script, the Ren becomes one Pie and one Na. And the Pie is also longer and Na is shorter. Now, this actually means this is a head, and the people translate it as two head legs, uh, two legs, that's right, walking on the street. All right, the second one is Dao. Dao. Long time ago, it, it's the shape of Dao. Long time ago, it's the shape of the real knife in the world. So this is a handle, and this is a, the, 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 the sharp part of the knife, right? So then it becomes this one, becomes this one. Uh, okay, and then we have Li, power, Li. And Li, in the traditional uh, script, Li actually is uh, looks like a dao, looks like knife, because it's use power to use uh, to to use knife. Then, but the handle of the Li is longer because it's connected to the hands of the people. So this is a Li means power. The second, the fourth radical is called Yu. Originally, it means right hand. See, this is a right hand. And now, gradually, it changes into this one. Means again. All right, the last one is Kou. Kou, long time ago, it is written like this way. Means mouse, mouth. It, it is actually the shape of the human being's mouth, right? Okay, but now in official script, it is written like this way because we use horizontal line, vertical line, 
as the basic strokes of the characters. We do not use the curves anymore. Group two, Wei, Tu, Xi, Da, Nu. Let's write those char characters out. Wei is a bigger code, right? Shu, Heng, Zhe, Heng, Tu, Heng, Shu, Heng, Xi, Pie, Heng, Pie, Dian. Da, Heng, Pie, Na, Nu, Pie, Na, Pie, Heng. Let's talk about the original meaning, the evolution of those characters. So number one, let's talk about Tu. Tu. Wei is just a large circle, right? L large square uh, with the herbs inside of the square. It's like a fence uh, on the four sides. Then Tu. Tu actually means earth. The long horizontal line, usually in the Chinese radicals, means the ground. And this one actually means a group of earths. Uh, earth. So those are the, those means earths. You can remember this character like this way. This is a crossing. Crossing above the horizontal line means the earth. Uh, next one, C. C. long time ago, it is the shape of the moon. Gradually, it changed into this one. C now indicates the sunset because the time when the sun set is the time when the moon going up. So you can remember C like this way. And the Da means big. Da. Long, traditionally, it's written like a human being with arm reach out, with arms reach out, right? So this is Da. And but nowadays, when we use the uh, lines and uh, uh, strokes as a basic structure of the characters, it is changed into this way. Home and a person is a is a is a arm stretch out with a person. Uh, the last one is 女. 女. 女 means woman. See, long time ago, this is a woman. Uh, sit on the ground, head, arms, and their legs sitting on the ground. But nowadays, it's really like this way. Okay. Group three. Zi, Cun, Xiao, Gong, Yao. Zi, Hong, Zhe. Shu go Hong Hong Shu go Dian Xiao Shu go Dian Dian Gong Hong Shu Hong Yao Pie Hong Pie Hong Dian Let's talk about the story behind those characters. Uh, Number one, zi. zi means kids. So long time ago, it is written like this way. This is a big head of the kids, and this is arms stretching out of the kids. But for the young kids, they do not, they cannot walk at all. So they do not have feet. They their feet always become like one, just one feet bundled together. Uh, number two, uh, this is a zi. Uh, number two is cun. Cun. Cun is an uh, inch. Cun means inch. The reason why cun means inch is because actually uh, we use this lens as a measurement of the human uh, body in ancient time. So this part from here to here, this part is an inch. And then we have xiao. Traditionally, xiao is three dots. See, shu, 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 
three dots. This indicates a sense, S A N D S. The particle of the sense is very small, so we use the sense to indicate small. Next one, gong, gong, gong. You see, this is the original objects of the gong. It is at it is use it is indicates a tools. So gong has the meaning of labor and tools. And the last one is yao. This is the original meaning of yao. Can you guess what is it? It's a silk worm. So long time ago, yao is written like a eight, but it's like a silk worm, silk silks, and gradually it becomes this one. Okay, group four. Gong, xin, ge, shou, ri. Gong, xin, ge, shou, ri. Let's see how to write. Heng, heng, zhe, heng, shu, zhe, zhe, go. Dian, xie, go. Dian, dian. Pay attention to the position of the three drops. One is in the middle. Two is outside. Heng, xie, go. Pie, dian. 撇，横，横，竖钩，竖，横折，横，横。This is called 竖心旁。It all it it has the same meaning as 心。It is the variation of 心 used in the radicals. 竖，点点。And this one， 横，竖钩。题 Long time ago, gong. This is gong. It's a bow, right? So it's usually it's actually an image of the boat. Right? Heng zhe, heng shu, heng zhe go. And this is a xin means heart. Traditionally, it's written like this way. But gradually, it changed like this one. Gu dagger axe. This is a weapon in ancient China. This is a knife, and this is a long, long stick. So nowadays, so this is a dagger axe in、um, Bong script, and this is a modern one. Ah, then we have. Show head, you see this. This are the hands. Long time ago, those are the five fingers. One, two, three, four, five. E, R, three, four, five. So it's really like hands, right? But now it's written like this way. Pie, heng, heng, shu, go. And the last one, ri, sun. Traditionally, it's written like a circle with a dot in the middle. Nowadays, shu heng zhe heng heng is a square with a heng in the middle. Group five: Yue, Wu, Shui, Huo. Let's write it. Pie, heng zhe go, heng heng. Wu, heng. 树，撇，捺，水，树沟，横撇，撇，捺，火，撇，捺，点，点。Alright, let's see the story behind the character. Yue, traditional writing, traditional script, and then gradually change this one. Mu. Mu, it's woods. In the in the forest, and then now it's also woods, but with used the, the basic strips. Shui. See, this is a 
tracks of the water, right? But now it changes into this one. And Huo, like a, just like the fire, right? Now it's changing into this one. Okay, so that next group. Tian, Mu, Shi, Mi, Er, Yi. Xie, ah, Xie, Han, Zi. Shu, Hong, Zhe, Hong, Shu, Hong. Tian, Mu, Shu, Hong, Zhe, Hong, Hong, Hong. 是横横竖钩点点。The, on the top is two, right? R. On the bottom, this is 小点横撇竖点。This is a particle 是 This is a radical. Another way to write a radical 是 They have the same meaning and the same pronunciation. 密，撇横，撇横，点，竖钩，点，点，撇横，撇横，横，耳，横，竖，竖，横，横，横，一，点，横，撇。树钩，那点点横撇，竖点点。Those 是 and 一 are very similar, right? This has only one drop, one 点 and this has two 点。田 farms, farmland, fields. It's actually just like a field, right? Okay, mu. Traditionally, mu is just like a, the real eyes, very similar to the real eyes. But nowadays, the eyes become a vertical eyes. Okay, shi. 是，是 actually long time ago it's written like this way. It's because this is a, a state stage for the people to stand on the stage to pray to the God, to to want the God to show he to show the people something. So the 是 means the God show something to the person. And then gradually, there are more sticks under the table, under the stage, becomes this way. C. Oh, me. So me means fine silk. Why is that? Because they have silk verb silks on the top. They have little and uh, and on the bottom. So it means fine silk. And this is R. It's a shape of your ear, okay. And this is e. Means close. So this is your arms, and this is your close. Okay. Ha. Next group. Yan. Bei. Zou. Zu. Jin. Yan, Dian, Hung, 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 Kou, Bei, Shu, Hung, Zhe, Pian, Na, Hung, Shu, like a chen, horizontal line, Hung, Shu, Hung, Pian, Na. 
口 on the top, 竖横撇捺 This part is like a 人 right? Like a 人嗯，撇捺 This part is also like a 人 right? 嗯，那横横竖撇点点横点横折。勾，撇，横，横，横，竖，提。I see the stories behind. 眼 ，This is your mouth. This is your tongue. So 眼 means speech, mouth and tongue. 背 ，shell。背。Like shell, right? So, walk. So this is a person with the arms waving, and these are the trucks under the person. So, 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 so. So zu is you can remember this as this is a hat, and this are the person walk. Okay. This is a hat. This is a person, right? This is a person and walking. Person uses to work, to walk. Jin. Jin actually are the container of those matter. Jin helps the matter comes out of the earth. So, long time ago, Jin is written like this one. It's just a container, and now it's written like this one. So, Ren on the top with two Heng and one Shu and one Dian and one Heng. Okay, the last. Last group. 门追与石马。门竖点横折钩。追撇竖点横横横竖横。Four 横四个横。与横。竖，横，折钩，点，点，点，点，点 ，four drop drops four 点，四个点。与石，撇，捺，横，横，折，横，横，竖，钩，撇，捺，撇，横，钩。竖提，马，横折，横竖折折钩，横。Let's see the traditional characters. 门 ，a door, right? The simplified characters is like this one. 追 ，a bird. See, this is a bird. 雨 a horizontal line on the top usually represents the sky, and the drops represent the rains.、Uh, the water comes from the sky. Rain. 雨石石石 is a container for the food. It means With the container, you can mean the food. You can also mean to eat. So, long time ago, shi has two meaning. One is the food. The other one is to eat. Ma, ma. This is ma. Okay. All right. That's all.